for me, the genomic analysis testing of women's breast cancer um, is really a game changer. I, I've been practicing uh, for about 35 years taking care of women with breast cancer, and that now we can look at the genes of a woman's cancer, uh, which we've been able to do the last, oh, I would say seven years or so. Uh, it's like warp speed progress, and it's, uh, in my career, this is the most exciting time because, as I said, this really changes how we manage women. It, uh, the whole thing uh, began with the Human Genome Project, which completed in 2003. And once we could sequence the whole human genome, the next step was then to look at individual cancers. And then we could look at the mutated genes that were responsible for the cancer. And then we could start to individualize women's cancers around prognosis and whether they would respond to treatment. And so instead of treating almost every woman with some type of systemic therapy, chemotherapy, hormonal therapy, we now can really know who's going to be uh, benefited and who really needs to be treated. So um, we, in my career, we, I spent the first 20 years giving out chemotherapy and, and hormonal therapy. And now the last few years, we've been able to pull it back, uh, which is very important because these, these treatments have a fair amount of toxicity. I am very impressed with the breast cancer index. Um, it's, uh, it utilizes not a whole bunch of genes, but it, it doesn't matter the number of genes. It's, it's the power and the information you get from the genes. And then it allows us to look at risk of later recurrence after five years. And then it allows us to predict that the therapy we have, the hormonal therapy we have, will be effective or not. So kind of combining those three things make it tremendously powerful for the practicing oncologist and very important for the woman because she, we can determine if, if we can really help her and we're just not treating every woman the same.